Hi children, welcome back to our math session. In this video, we are going to see problem solving strategies. To solve a statement problem, we have few steps in that. Step 1, read the problem. Step 2, pick out the information needed. Step 3, choose the problem solving strategy. Step 4, solve the problem. And step 5, check your answer. So these steps we are going to see in detail now. Here, I would like to discuss about the steps of problem solving. When you uh, hear about statement problems, you get little frightened, right? So, uh, I am here with the solution for that. So, here are a few steps to solve the statement problems. If the statement problem is given, the first step is to read the problem and understand the question clearly. Here is a question for you. Angela's young sister is starting stamp collection. Anjali gave her 118 stamps from her own collection. Anjali now has 687 stamps with her. How many stamps did Anjali have in the beginning? This is the question given. So to solve this question, there are few steps. This step 1 is read the problem and understand the question. By reading the... So... If we read the question, we must understand what is given in the question and what we have to find. So, in the above problem, we understood that we have to find the number of stamps Anjali had in the beginning. Okay. So, this is the thing we understood from the question after understanding the question. In the second step, that is in step 2, we have to find the important information given in the problem. What are the important information given in the problem? Yeah, that is about Anjali gave 118 stamps. That is the first important information. And second one is she still has 687 stamps with her. So this is the second information. What? So list out that. Now let us see what is step 3. So we got all these things. In the step 3, we have to decide what we have to do. So since we have to find the number of stamps in the beginning, we have to use the operation of addition right so that is in the third step now in step 4 we have to solve the problem that is we understood by step 3 that we have to add in the step 4 we have to use you have to solve the question and find the answer so use the addition what is the addition sentence over here yeah i have to add this to 118 that is how much she has given to the sister and how much is left with her if you add that both we will get the number of stamps in the beginning am i right so when you add that we get 805 as answer clear so this is the fourth step now our solution is over now the last step is we have to check the answer i have to check my answer is correct or wrong so in that to check the answer, you have to think or you have to just check like this. Is my calculation correct? You can check whether it's subtraction or addition. You have to recheck whether your calculation is correct. And the second one is you have to check whether you got a sensible answer. That is, is the answer make any sense? So these are the five steps in solving a problem. So the above five steps in short and sweet we can say that the first one is read. So for read we can write R for find and find what are the informations given. So F then decide what to do. So D for decide and solve. So S for solve and last check that is C. So we can just follow these steps to solve a statement problem. R, F, D, S, C. Okay. So here is a question for you. A town had 7,125 telephone connections and the neighboring town had 3,799 telephone connections. How many telephone connections were there in both the towns? That is the question. So as I said, you can follow all the five steps. First read and understand and then find the information and then find what calculation you have to do and then do the calculation and then check. So here... You also have to write the statements for solving the word problems or statement problems. Okay. So what can be the first statement? Yes. The number of telephones we had it in the first town. 
right so this can be your first statement number of telephones in the first term how much is that yeah that is equal to 7125 second statement can be number of telephones in the second term that is equal to how much 3799 okay now what we have to find yeah we have to find the total number of connections to find the total number of connections what we have to do yeah since it is total we have to add so that is equal to 7125 plus 3799 so when you add that this is the addition book okay what do we get we get the answer as 10,924. Okay, so this is how we have to solve our statement problem. Write the statements, find out, list out all the given informations, find what we have to do, use the operation, solve it and find the answer. Let us see one more example. So the question is, the painter of 25 buildings have to complete the work in 30 days. They need 423 cans of white paint and 678 cans of red paint. How many cans of paint do they need in all? That is the question. When you analyze this question, you can understand there are two informations which is given extra which we need not use to solve this problem. Here they have told 25 buildings. The 25 buildings we are not using to solve the problem as well as the 30 number of days which they are using also we not, need not take to solve the problem we need to find only the total number of cans for that we need to know only the total number of white cans and total number of red can okay so uh, in some problems it will be like that extra informations will be given so you have to find out the necessary informations to solve that problem and then complete the problem okay now let us see how to solve this so what can be the first statement yeah number of white paint cans okay how much it is 423 and the second can be number of cans of red paint how much it is 678 so what we have to find total number of cans what is total number of cans 423 plus 678 and that is equal to how much once we solve the problem you sorry uh, solve what do we get we get 1101 as answer so totally we need 1101 cans so in these cases we have to as i said some cases we have to avoid the extra informations to get the accurate answer so i hope you all understood the steps in solving the problems and how to write the statements and uh, solve the statement problems so here are your homework questions Work out with that. Here is question A and B. Here is question C, D and E. And the question number E is complete question number 5 in exercise 2H in page number 42 of our math content book. Read these questions properly and answer well. Thank you children.